Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's been going on with me in my life, as well as, you know, what's been going on with the channel, why the, I would say, the output of reviews have been kind of low and everything. And it's just for the simple fact of companies have been reaching out to me to do reviews on products, but some of them I just haven't been able to physically do one instance was a company wanted me to review like a rgb ceiling light installation thing or wherever and it was super cool and dope but it's like i don't have the tools for that and i would have to hire somebody to come out here and do that um and it wasn't a paid for video so i would have paid it out of pocket not telling how much that was and then when i leave this place i would have to obviously take it out and have you know the person reinstall the old one and then on top of that the the rental management company, whatever you want to call it, um, they are really big sticklers on uh, stuff done to their property. Um, they've been letting me do all this, but essentially I already know that it would be a problem doing that kind of stuff because they had a problem with people putting up security cameras because they had a lot of break-ins on a lot of their properties. Like somebody was specifically targeting their properties. Um, they had a lot of break-ins into people's cars and stuff. And it took the police getting involved and people, you know, outcry from the tenants for them to be able to let us put security cameras up. And I'm talking about stuff that wouldn't damage the actual property itself. I'm talking about stuff that would attach itself uh, non-invasively or whatever to like a door and be like a doorbell camera. And again, no damage to the property or whatever. It's just kind of like a clamp and that's it. Like they wouldn't even let people do that stuff. Like that's how bad it was until this incident happened. Um, so I couldn't imagine, you know, sitting there ripping out their actual fi fixture, putting my own in there, taking it out. And then like, I just, I don't want to do any of that stuff. And like I said, that stuff wasn't even going to get paid for. Um, they were just going to send it to me and be like, oh, make a video in, in a small length of time. And like I said, doing something like that and doing my normal reviews and stuff or process and everything. And then, like I said, paying out of pocket and all that stuff, it's like, you could at least pay the content creator. You know what I'm saying? Even if I, even if they just paid for the installation fee or something, like at least offer something, you know what I mean? And it's just like so many of these companies are wanting me to cover random stuff that just doesn't make any sense for a YouTube video, or they're just wanting me to do stuff or whatever to make fake Amazon reviews. And it's like, for one, I'm just w worried about like now is like so many companies are getting my email and they're just sending me like it's not necessarily scams but they're like sending me to do product reviews in the weirdest ways and it's like i'm not an amazon you know uh reviewer if you will like the people that sit on the amazon live streams and show off products and stuff like that it's like i don't i don't do that stuff i do product reviews on youtube and i keep telling companies that and they keep on trying to push for me to leave a review on amazon or make a video on amazon and stuff like that and it's like i don't care to do all that stuff that's another social media platform that i would have to learn and do and create and stuff and that's not the type of person i am i only do youtube i don't sit there really do TikTok or wherever anymore i don't really do youtube shorts i only stream on kick wherever video games and i only do youtube content i don't have the time to manage multiple different social media platforms i have mental issues i have a son or wherever that's about to be two i have a wife at home i have like four to five hours to do content creation i don't have time out my i'm watching my son for 12 hours a day i don't have time to sit there and regulate and change things up or wherever and follow algorithms and do all that stuff wherever on social media platforms that on top of that i personally don't even use i don't use tiktok i'm never literally on tiktok the only time i go on tiktok is when i upload a video and it's months between the times that i upload videos or wherever i i just i just don't be on it instagram the only reason why I'm on Instagram or wherever is to have in contact with a content creator that I met locally, as well as a uh, my fine, fine representative. That's the only reason why I'm on Instagram. Every now and then I have been somewhat kind of posting like product pictures over there. And I will probably continue to post like my product pictures over there. I might end up trying to do that on YouTube. I'm not sure how that would work as far as like community posts or something like that. But that's where I will put my pictures like of my family or something like that. Like I don't even use Facebook. I've told this story before in the past. I've had a no phone or whatever for like three years. When I got out of the military, I had a phone for like two years 
and it wasn't even turned on. And then I just, you know, one day just threw it in the trash and didn't have a phone for three years. I kid you not. I, d I don't need social media like other people need to be on social media platforms. And I understand that's limiting my growth as a content creator, but it's just, I, I, I don't want to fake it until I make it. I don't want to be somebody I am not. And I'm not going to sit there and devote a ridiculous amount of time to platforms uh, for content that I don't even enjoy. I like to make the content that I enjoy. And if I find enjoyment in watching my video, then I post it. If I don't find joy streaming on Twitch anymore, I stopped streaming on Twitch. I should have done it long ago. I stopped streaming on Twitch. I went to kick. Once I'm tired of kick for whatever reason, I might just play video games offline. You know what I'm saying? Like I might not even really stream. You know because i can't really do that on youtube because if i do it on youtube it's gonna mess up the algorithm and stuff like that from the product reviews and everything i've seen it work drastically uh bad for people whoever who do what i do and then stream video games so you know that might be something tricky that they're doing wrong or whatever that i could probably nail right i don't know but i don't think people here who are subscribed or whatever would want to see me playing video games i think they're subscribing for the product reviews but yeah that's just where everything's been i would say essentially it's just getting ridiculous offers to do product reviews and a lot of them are requiring me to do some kind of installation home installation or something crazy that they're not even going to pay me for or just a product that would take me forever to like figure out put together you know do all this crazy lengthy stuff and it's like you're not going to pay me for the hours and hours and hours of work that i had to do um I have reached out to some companies wherever I have a box down there that I'm going to do a review from, from a company that I've worked with in the past. I also have these pixel lights wherever that I'm going to do a review on that person's my own money. But a lot of them that I have been reaching out to or I have been working with in the past or have reached out to me or wherever in the past that I have, you know, reached back out to them. A lot of them are not having product promotional periods and meaning that they're releasing a whole bunch of products but they're not sending them out to content creators at least of right now um i think it's most of them are probably waiting till it gets a little bit closer to christmas or something like that or beginning of next year i'm not sure that's the instance i'm finding with the fine fine products that i did that uh, video on as far as their new upcoming products that have been released my fine fine representative told me that they're not doing a promotional period uh as of right now so they will let me know and get me updated or wherever when they're going to do that in the future that's the least the last thing i heard so i don't know where when that stuff is going to happen so just i guess stay tuned to the channel for that but it's just like i said not finding and when with with all these deals going on like on amazon and stuff like that i'm not seeing anything honestly that catches my eye you know what i'm saying and that's why i had to look back at some of the companies that i've worked with in the past and see and go back and look at some of their products in order to see you know if they were willing to send out a product or something like that that i can do review on because actively right now i'm not seeing anything that catches my eye um that would be i would say not only helpful for my content creation and my needs with content creation but also being able to realistically offer to you guys to level up your content creation or something that would be unique enough to pique your interest and to possibly use for your setup or you know your content creation whatever it may be and when i can't find that stuff that's a problem to me you know what i'm saying as far as what companies are offering and they're coming out with it's just in the streaming space and and other types of content creation or wherever other categories or wherever i'm just seeing i'm not seeing anything that's being released that makes me be like yeah i want to go ahead and get that even if i'm purchasing it with my own money and tell you guys about it i'm just not seeing any stuff like that um even with these amazon deals or prime day deals and stuff like that i didn't really see anything and the stuff that was somewhat interesting that was even in my wish list and stuff that we've been keeping my eye on for some reason i don't know if it was just a personal attack on me but the stuff in my wish list or whatever was like 20 percent off you know what i'm saying like it was like 40 dollars off 60 dollars off and the price is already kind of high and it's like i can't reasonably do that because i just got a new car and stuff car payments and finding out um finding out the budget and everything for you know what we were going to uh i would say spend on a month or wherever basis and see how much i have funds or whatever allocated toward this hobby and everything it's just like it's just not feasible you know what i'm saying it's not realistic especially getting ready for uh 
you know the holiday season trying to get backdrops and, and clothes and stuff like i still gotta get like an ugly sweater apparently because my wife wants to do a whole bunch of like family photo things or whatever because i got the cameras and we already have like a backdrop from rube back here or whatever that we can color but we're also gonna get like holiday themed ones and stuff and i might post those pictures or whatever on instagram in the future but it's like what what do i cover for you guys you know what i'm saying and like i said what like i've tried to reach out every single company that would work with my channel size and my analytics and like i said a lot of them i'm it's just i'm not hearing anything back or like i said they're like yo we want to work with you in the future and we cool with that and we'll keep contact or wherever and be on a good terms but we just don't have anything to really uh send out to content creators because we don't have a promotional thing and it's like well you know i'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs so what i think i'm going to do in the future is go back doing the office logs i still would do product reviews every now and then when i find something that interests me that i think will be interesting to you guys i'm still gonna do that like the keyboard review that i did these pixel two lights the thing that's down there in the box and stuff like that uh, i'm still gonna do them but they're just gonna be more spread out until you know we start the uptick of okay now companies are doing the promotional periods um but until then i'm gonna be sprinkling in what uh people probably call on youtube cozy office vlogs where you know it's not really too much of me talking or anything it's just showing little shots of my setup or wherever what i'm doing through the day kind of like just chill with me kind of thing uh, let me know if that's something that's that's definitely something i want to know so let me know please 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 let me know in the comments is that something that you guys would be interested in because like i said i have a few hours uh that i could sit there and record a time lapse i can sit there and just show you know how i start my content creation day work day or whatever because i only have a few hours of doing it and i could just take you guys along it wouldn't be too much talking it would just be kind of like lo-fi cozy you know vibes or wherever and that's something that I've been wanting to do. And I think I've talked about it before in the past. The only thing is, is that with a lot of those, uh, I would say style videos, people show their setup, all that stuff. And it's like, when, especially at my YouTube studio setup, but underneath my streaming setup, all that stuff, I talked about it before in a past video, I don't do cable management and I don't want people to be off-putted because of the non-cable management. But essentially, I don't do it is because we have tornadoes. This year has been crazy. My town has um, had at least one tornado. Um, one came super close to our town. And then just in the local county area, whatever you want to call it, um, there's been multiple tornadoes. Um, and there was been multiple times where we literally had to pack up my PC, all my camera gear, everything like that into the car and drive out of state. And in one instance, it was a really bad storm. We had to drive like two uh, states away and then come back. So it's like, because I, I got renter's insurance and stuff, I got all that stuff or whatever squared away. It's just, even with all that stuff, I am not trying to have any downtime. And I just got irreplaceable gear, even if I could replace it with renter's insurance. Like if I have time to grab all my stuff, I'm gonna grab at least the more important stuff like the cameras, you know, the PC. You know, I'm not going to be able to take my monitors and my desk and all that stuff, but I'm going to try to. So and some of these uh, gear needs specific like cables and stuff that comes with it. And that's why the cables are not cable managed um, just to make it easier to grab and go um, and stuff like in a bag or wherever or in a box, whatever. And just like I said, just leave. Um, so that's what has been. And ever since of that, having to constantly do that, I just realized it's just pointless because I'm gonna have to end up doing it later on or something like that. And people will say, well, now, you know, tornado season is kind of over. You could, you know, cable manage it all back, but it's like, I'm gonna be here next year. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be here before we know it. You know what I mean? So um, that's the only reason why I've been kind of hesitant on the office blogs. But if that stuff doesn't bother you, like I said, let me know in the comments below. I've taken too much of, of, of your time. I didn't mean the video for it to be this long. Um, I'm long winded because of the mental issues. So I appreciate you listening to me, but welcome to everybody who, you know, recently subscribed to the channel for the keyboard review. Um, I still love this thing. I think the way it sounds and the way it feels, it's just so good. It's so disappointing. I've been told that though, there's a pro version off their website. 
that uh, that's where the white version comes from apparently because I noted on the back of the box when I got this one there's a white one but apparently has a better response time and stuff like that and the person asked me why I didn't get the pro version but that one is not on Amazon you would have to go through a third-party website or something like that in order to get it and it costs like a hundred and something so I don't know if I would do that in the future or whatever but if it's similar to this and it's actually good as far as the rapid triggers maybe but like I said in the video, I'm still just going to get me the Wooting 80 HE. But yeah, um, with that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid-tastic day. God bless you and yours. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, everybody. Much love.